am Dr. Prashant Sharma and you are watching Medicosa. This is my fourth lecture on Norma Bacillus and in this lecture I am going to discuss the posterior part of the Norma Bacillus. We are going to discuss it in two headings, one is median area, another one is lateral area. The median area is basically contributed by foramen magnum. We know that foramen magnum is the largest foramen of the skull. It opens upwardly into the posterior cranial fossa and downwardly into the vertebral canal. It is broad posteriorly. This is external occipital crest. External occipital crest extends from the foramen magnum up to the external occipital protuberance. We have discussed them in Norma occipitalis. This marks the junction between the head and neck. So these three structures form the median area. Now the lateral area. Lateral area is basically contributed by some structures like hypoglossal canal. It is median to occipital condyle. These regions, that is this one and this one, this is, these are basically occipital condyles. Occipital condyles are oval in shape and these are directed anteriorly and medially. These form the atlanto occipital junction with the atlas, superior articular facets of atlas. There is another foramen here. This is the posterior condylar foramen. And this region, this is the jugular process of occipital bone. These all four structures form the condylar part of occipital bone. Another part which is contributing the lateral area is the styloid process. The styloid process just behind the posterior, thus posterior to the root of the styloid process, there is a foramen which is stylomastoid foramen. This is stylomastoid foramen. We know that mastoid process is somewhere here. This is mastoid process. It is a conical projection which directs anteriorly and inwards and downwards and it forms the lateral wall of mastoid notch. Now next one is this. This is jugular foramen. It is a very large foramen. It is elongated anteriorly and medially. In the medial part of this foramen, there is jugular notch here. Jugular notch is there. And in the lateral part, the patrous part of the temporal bone, it hollowed to become the jugular fossa. This jugular process of the occipital bone this one. It forms the posterior border of the jugular foramen. Jugular foramen is basically placed in the lateral part of the occipitomastoid suture. And this region is basically the squamous part of occipital bone which is characterized by the presence of superior and inferior nuchal lines. So, hit the like button, share and subscribe our channel to get the latest updates and notifications.